Hey there guys, welcome to the next video here on the Duct Tape Stuff channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make a duct tape pencil case uh, for school mostly. There's about a million and one different ways of making a pencil case. Everyone has pretty much their own method on how to make one out of duct tape. I actually made one about uh, three or four years ago on the channel, and that was one of the first few videos I made. But I'm going to be kind of doing a totally different method in this uh, video and kind of just showing you guys a different way on how to do it. I have a few pencils here. I'm going to be using the new, uh, fairly new paw print duct tape here. And Let's get started on the tutorial. Okie dokie, let's get started here. Now the interesting thing about pencils, unlike pens and a lot of the other writing utensils that you have, is that they get shorter as you use them. You know, you sharpen them, they get a lot smaller than the original, you know, size that you originally get them at. So the interesting thing we're going to do is we're actually going to make our pencil case vertically here, and we're going to make it a little bit shorter than the pencils themselves so that you can kind of see which pencils are in there. And we don't want to make it the entire length, otherwise, you know, it's going to be a little bit difficult to see and you know where, where they are and they're just going to get shorter from there as you sharpen them. So I have about four inches of tape here that are five and a quarter inches long. I'm going to take my first two and stick them together. And I have them set up vertically because that's the way I'm going to be eventually laying them here. So I have my first two stuck together. I'm going to take my third one, I'm going to line it up on my cutting mat there. And I'm probably going to stick it so that I have a total width of about two and a half inches, maybe a little bit over that, so two and three quarter inches. There's my third piece, going to take my fourth piece, and that's going to cover up the rest of the sticky side. And now what I'm going to do is cut out four more strips, four more identical strips, and I'm going to make a sheet of tape that's exactly the same size as that, so just repeat this step over again. So there I have my two pieces, they're trimmed, they are ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out one strip of tape, that's the height of the uh, two strips here, and then one that is the length of the bottom here. I'm going to take my one strip here that's longer, I'm going to cut that directly in half, just to save a little bit on tape. I'm going to stick them directly on top of each other. And then I'm going to very carefully just uh, seal up the side here. Flip the whole thing over and then peel it over like this. Then I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to do the exact same thing. So half of it on that side, half of it on this side. Nothing too complicated here. I'm going to take my last piece and that's simply going to seal up the bottom here. Flip it over and boom. So now we have a nice pouch to put our pencil uh, pencils here, but we were not done yet. We actually have, have to put you know a flap or some sort of lid, otherwise you know they're all going to just fall out. So to make the, uh, the the flap for the lid, I'm actually going to attach it to the back and then come all the way to the top and kind of attach it on the front. So I cut out four more strips of tape that are seven inches long. And the reason why I cut them out so long is that I just want to make sure that they're able to kind of wrap all the way around the pencils and go all the way to the front here. You might have to make it a little bit larger depending on, you know, if your pencils are really new, that's when they're going to be, you know, the longest, of course. So I'm going to make sure this is the same size. I can probably just use my cutting mat once again because I know the measurements. It's about two and three quarter inches. And then I'm going to take my fourth piece, stick it over here to cover up the rest of the sticky side showing. Do a little bit of trimming, of course. Make sure it all looks nice and pretty. And then what I'm going to do is attach it to the back here and then kind of fold it over like this. So attach it on the back, just one strip of tape ought to do it. That's the same, you know, length as this piece down here. I'm going to flip it over, or it really doesn't matter which part is the front. I'm going to attach it to the back like this and try not to mess it up. So right about here, I'm going to stick that down. Might be a little bit tricky with all the pencils in it, but I'm going to have to manage here. So sticking that on. Then what we're going to do is fold this piece down. The obviously the longest pencil will prevent it from you know going any further. And then we're going to add a little bit of Velcro and a little kind of flap that goes down like this. So to create that little flap, I'm going to attach the Velcro to. I just cut out you know a strip of tape that's about four inches long. I cut like kind of a square piece out of it. This is one of the easiest ways to kind of make something like that to attach things to. I'm going to fold over the part just like this. So I have a little bit of sticky part showing, and that's going to attach to that piece. I have my Velcro piece. I need to make sure I have I know which one is on which side, which would always help. I'm going to stick that there. Then I'm going to fold this down and stick that right about there. 
and of course stick that down so that the Velcro sticks. And there we have a pretty nifty pencil pouch. So yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys like this video on making a pencil pouch. Like I said before, you can really make these in any way that you want to. There's, like I said, a million different ways that you can do this. You can make them large, you can make them small, you can make them you know, horizontally and fit a whole bunch of pens and pencils. If you're one of those people who really likes to put you know, erasers on top of your pencils, like the large erasers on the top, you might have to make it a little bit taller depending on how long your pencils are. You can also make kind of like a small pocket for the erasers if you really want to, which is kind of cool. Definitely I recommend using some Velcro to keep it closed and of course you know now the uh, the pencils don't come out which is kind of cool so like I said hope you like the video and that's how to make a really cool nifty pencil pouch out of duct tape out of nothing but duct tape and a little bit of Velcro I'll catch you tomorrow for another back to school uh, tutorial here on the channel see you then